Hi y'all, it's Monique with Texas Gal Studio coming to you with a little Valentine's DIY. So I'm challenging myself to start off the year by doing a little bit more DIYs and reusing like this aluminum cans um, that you see here, uh, me spray painting. So I'm going to be getting three different sizes of aluminum cans and I am going to spray paint them, one pink, one red, one purple. Um, these will be um, succulent containers. Sorry, I kind of lost track of what I was about to say. They're going to be succulent containers. So I've already pre-drilled um, holes underneath for well drainage. Um, I pretty much l let them set outside for a while so they could dry up. After I saw that they were dry, I brought them in so I could do a little bit of acrylic painting on them. I'm not going to seal them yet. After I finish letting the acrylic paint dry, then I'll come back with a top coat uh, and seal it. It's just a clear Rust-Oleum top coat, glossy top coat. I did say that. <laughs> I think I said top coat one too many times. So I'm going to be doing uh, the red one XOXO in white and then I'm going to come back and put little polka dots. I'm going for that uh, 90's theme pop type of look. I try doing that with the purple one giving it more of a spray painted uh, t-shirt. I don't know if you guys remember in the 90's they had a whole bunch of uh, spray painted everything shorts and t-shirts with your name and stuff like that. So I was going for that on the purple one. I showed my husband and he's like no it doesn't really look like that. <laughs> that's okay um this is more of uh having fun a therapeutic craft for me the kids are back at school i wanted a little bit of at least 30 minutes of downtime of me being able to paint and craft and not be um i guess restricted to anything so i'm not aiming for perfect it doesn't matter if the polka dot or the heart is a little crooked or not lined i'm going for that whatever it is however it ends up that's how it's going to be um, so I encourage you all, if you're going to start the year off doing a little, uh, something for yourself, pick up a little hobby, pick up a little something or another. It could be gardening, painting, anything. It's just come back to yourself, you know, uh, I guess to pump yourself up. Like for me, this kind of helps me to pump myself for the afternoon. That's when really my day gets going even, um, I guess a bit more quicker the kids are coming out going to one activity to the other it could be cheer it could be girl scouts boy scouts you know uh, what have you but i'm chauffeuring and getting dinner and having you know to go up and down on certain days more so till like 9 30 that's when our day ends and then even then so of course we have homework and all that so this doing this during the day you know every once in a while I think kind of just brings me back to myself if you know what I mean you know me being me or you be you you know um but yeah I just uh I wanted to bring this I hope this inspires you to create something um I'm gonna be adding some succulents to this so my kiddos had a container project um that they needed to create and so they had some succulents left over. Um, their competition is in March. So whatever's left over I get to use. Of course, uh, they didn't uh, submit that. So I had some succulents left over. I thought this would be a perfect project to use it. And so I'm using cactus soil. And um, of course, like I said, I, I already added some wool uh, uh, drainage underneath the aluminum cans. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's. Uh, it's a super simple project. I guess the only time consuming part is waiting for the uh, spray paint to dry and for the acrylic paint to dry and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be back with more DIYs, uh, more um, videos of maybe uh, vlogs if anything. Um, but for now for sure I'll be coming to you with more DIYs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be back. Stay tuned. And keep it crafty.